ask you on the CLEB exam for college mathematics is uh, about standard deviation. And they might ask you to calculate it, or in, like in this question, they might ask for you, for you to kind of share your sense of standard deviation. So without calculation, well, what can you tell us about standard deviation for a given set of numbers? So as a reminder, uh, the symbol for standard deviation looks like this. And what it really is in kind of rough terms is a measure of the variance uh, or an average of the variance where you're looking at um, how far your data is from the mean. So a measure of, on average, how far your data sits from the mean. Okay, so that's how I say it. And that's, a, that's just a rough definition, right? But that's the basic idea that if you have a line that represents our mean on a graph. So we have like an X and a Y, and then here's the average right here of, of our data. Well, your points, right, that give you that average are not going to be on the line, they'll be spread out around it. But the standard deviation measures how far those points are from that line. So points that are really far from the average, right, if that happens a lot, your standard deviation will be enormous. But if they're pretty close to the mean, your standard deviation will be low. So what they might ask you is, if you know that this, let's say y, that's your standard deviation for a set of numbers. So that's saying that the, these numbers right here, m, n, r, s, and t, have a standard deviation of y. So on average, they're about y distance from the mean. They might ask you, OK, so how can you mess around with that set without, without changing the standard deviation? So one thing you could do is you could add to every component of the set. So let's say you do m plus, I don't know, 4, and then add the same thing to n, 4, and r plus 4, right? plus or minus, I should say. By adding or subtracting 4 to every number in the set, what are you really doing? Well, you're kind of just raising all the data by 4. If you picture on, on a graph what would happen, perhaps this is our average before. Now that we've added 4 to every single point, well, now the average will go up a little bit. But it'll go up uniformly across the data because everything has been raised the same amount. Maybe these are our new points. So originally they were down here, now they're moving up. So it's kind of the same picture as before, but everything has been moved up or down, depending if you're adding or subtracting. And that's because addition, right, it's not proportional. It, it, it adds the same amount to every number, regardless of what we started at. However, if you were to, to multiply or divide, so if you took m times 4 and n times 4 and so forth, this would affect your standard deviation because each number right, will move a different amount. And I'll explain what I mean in one moment. Let me just write this other, other set out. If we divide every term by a number, that will also change our standard deviation. And for the same reason as multiplication, which is that when you multiply or divide an, an amount, that's proportional because you're, you're growing or shrinking the amount that you start with in relation to, to what the number was. And, and I'll, I'll try to explain that in, in, in an example. So these two do change the standard deviation, right? They don't preserve it. So for example, let's say m is 1, and n is 2, and r is 3, and s is 4, and t is, is 5, right? Whatever that might mean. For your data. But when you multiply 1 by 4, that's 4 groups of 1. So it just becomes 4 or 4 times bigger. So we go from m equals 1 to now 4. But when you multiply 2 by 4, right, that's 4 groups of 2. So our second data point goes from 2 up to 8. So it increases by 6. Whereas the first time we only increases by 3. And when we multiply 3 by 4, we go from 3 to 12. That increases by what? Well, by 9. And every time we do this, every time we multiply by 4, the amount of change becomes more dramatic. So 4 times 4 is 16. It goes from 4 to 16, that's adding 12. And 5 times 4 is 20. So you go from 5 to 20, that's adding 15. Right? So in other words, by multiplying every point by a number, we change the data right, by different amounts. And what will that mean? Well, that, that'll mean that that our, our standard deviation is going to change because the numbers are moving further and further apart depending on what we started at. 
So let's say the point is down here. We'll multiply this by 4 by move this far. But this point up, up here, look at this distance right here. If we multiply that distance by 4, so we go way off the page. Right? So really, uh, the multiplication division operations really um, dramatically affect the results of our data. And that'll mean that this standard deviation of this point is huge now. Right? It's all the way down from the mean, whereas this point right here is only a short amount. So when you're, when you're messing around with a set of numbers, it's addition and subtraction that preserve uh, the standard deviation, not multiplication and division. All right.